Hey guys and gals, thank you for watching yet another Spider Ride with your host Joe, posted to Life with Yosef, and cross posted to Writing Renaissance. It's the 20th of April, it's about 11.45 in the morning, you can see it's going to be just a beautiful day in the Central Valley. Should be about 75. I gotta go to Antioch, and I'm gonna take care of that, and then I'm gonna go for a short little day ride. Um, I got up, I got out of here reasonably on time, I got everything plugged in, I need to go to the post office, I probably need to get fuel, and I, I need to eat a little something, so. Um, I bought a new and different branded ch uh, chip for the Dash for the Dash GoPro. So I'm going to try and see if it works. I I downloaded the uh, the editing app, the Go, uh, the GoPro Quick app to my wife's tablet, migrated the data over and it still wouldn't edit. So I'm thinking either the camera is bad or the chip is bad. So I'm going to uh, I replaced the chip with a new chip. I have it formatted. I know I've had chip problems in the past because a couple times in the middle of a ride it'll say something like fixing files or something like that. So I think I may have a bad chip and that's what the problem is. We're going to find out today. I do have an open help ticket with the GoPro help chat line and we'll see if it works so almost two minutes of my babbling here we're gonna finish uh um, um jesus we're gonna finish getting ready you notice the bike isn't idling so you so you all could hear me um and we'll uh we'll put out of here and we'll see what's next Our first stop of the day finds us, of course, at Flying J, where I got a couple of corn dogs and topped off the uh, my two cups of uh, Diet Mountain Dew. Had a guy wander over and talk to me with, uh, he had the sob story, but he didn't hit me up for money. So, I don't, I don't, I don't carry cash and I don't have my ATM card. That's what I tell him, so. Down here in the ditch, I see a bunch of homeless uh, have set up an encampment. That's new since the last time I was here. Gas was five eighty-five a gallon, which <laughs> we're still getting gouged. So I saw a uh, uh, there's a lawmaker um, trying to pass a windfall profits tax on the oil <laughs> on the oil companies. So we've got one set of, of pirates robbing us at the gas pump and the other set of pirates, the federal government, wanting to make it sound like, oh yeah, we're doing something about the gouge, but they're just going to keep the money for themselves. If it was truly in our best interest, we, we'd be getting some of that money back. So one pirate stealing from another pirate is not solving the gas issue. So, uh, but that's all the politics for now. So we're gonna go to the post office. We're gonna drop a couple of letters off. 
Um, we're gonna head to Antioch, kind of the easy way. So we'll see what's next. You'll notice on the right clip right before this, hopefully it took, that um, I drove by the sign for Goosties, G-I-U-S-T-I-S. A couple of months ago, or a while ago, I'm not sure how long now, I had the place burned to the ground. And this is what we have right here. Uh, you see that I, uh, I doubled back on, on the old road, on the old levee road, um, the Thornton Walnut Grove levee road. So, Agustis was a real popular place. I, I've never eaten here, but um, it was uh, it was um, family owned for a long time, decades, and uh, and the people who ate here were and the family obviously were very very sad that the place just burned to the ground. Now, out here, I, I saw something this week that said that two thirds of firemen and fire departments are partially or wholly volunteers. And I think it's that way out here too. There's just not enough tax space uh, to support a fully paid operational fire department. So we're here, we're, we're gonna press on. We're gonna wander to Antioch. But if something else happens, my God, we'll, we'll see what's next.
our next stop, which was not at, sadly not at, not in Antioch, at the Cocoa Farms. You saw the line. <laughs> I'm too sick to stand up that long. So anyway, we bypassed that and we are now at the John Marsh House in rural Contra Costa County. Now, John Marsh lived a real interesting life. Um, he ended up out here in 1836 when this was still part of Mexico. The land was uh, seceded to the, or ceded to the United States as war booty after the Mexican-American War. Uh, John Marsh is thought of to be the first European ancestored person to practice Western medicine in this state. Um, he w w w had large land holdings. Uh, if you, uh, uh, there's a lot more to it, you really ought to Wikipedia him. But he uh, he was murdered in 1856 on the road uh, between uh, Pacheco and Martinez. Now Martinez has always been the county seat in Contra Costa County, and it's an 1850 original county. Um, it seems to me that the seat has always been in Martinez. Anyway, um, John Marsh was not necessarily the nicest guy. He underpaid his uh, people, and allegedly three of his ranch hands, or it's, Jesus, I have a hard time with this stutter. The Mexican cowboys, which are called the, the, Ah, uh, hell, you're going to have to look it up. Uh, allegedly, three of his ranch hand cowboys, the Cueros, murdered him on the road uh, uh, between Pacheco and Martinez. Now, ten years later, two of them were caught. One turned state's evidence. The other served 25 years in prison uh, um, um, before being pardoned. And the third guy was never, ever caught. So... I'm on Mar Marsh and Creek Road. There's a couple of things on this road that I want to point out, and um, we'll see what's next. Our next stop of the day, and now the wind picks up, probably <laughs> maybe 100 yards up the road. There's two markers here that I'm going to talk about. The first one here signifies the Marsh Kellogg Creek Watershed Project, which I'm assuming this earthen dam is uh, part of, and the little lake or pond that we just saw. Uh, I, I literally am just up the road here. So I'm going to cross the street, and there's another marker here that I want to point out. And I'm going to show it here. Let me read what it says first. Um, this marker signifies the uh, uh, settling of John and Abby Marsh. It was uh, put here by the Native Daughters of the Golden West in 1932. Um, you can see that the cowl Portland Cement Company, and Portland Cement is a type of cement used a lot in highway paving or building. And this whole thing was, uh, though it looks like 1992, I think it's the uh, uh, weathering of the uh, of the concrete shows it in 1992 when it should be 1932. Anyway, um, when roads were first started to be paved in the good roads movement after World War I, the big discussion amongst um, road, in, road builders and politicians or people paid to make these uh, 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 decisions, uh, a lot of people chose the Portland cement. Uh, asphalt is cheaper but allegedly Portland cement lasts longer, but it eventually, yeah, you end up uh, paving over it anyway, or else you dig it up and relay concrete. Um, but anyway, uh, Cowell 
when I was living in Concord or in when I was living with the plaintiff in not Concord but oh Jesus Clayton um, the smokestack for the cowl cement company was still there and there was a whole uh, n a neighborhood uh, built around it and one day the owner of the smokestack decided that it was too big of a liability though some people you know it's a historical thing and i but you know it falls on somebody and you, you have a problem so the smokestack is no longer there uh, I'll see if I can or can't find a picture to put in here at the end of this uh, uh, of this look Jesus I'm just having the hardest time with this stutter it is such a pain in the ass but I'll try to see if I can't find a picture of the smokestack so we're gonna head that away on Marsh Creek Road we're gonna ride a while and we'll see what's next.